What's up guys, it's Wilson, also known as Design by Will. I know it's been some time since I've made a video, but I've finally finished my 13 weeks of uni and finished my first year, so shout out to that. In today's video, we're gonna be developing an anime brand design or streetwear design basically. And it's gonna be something I'm very comfortable with because we're just gonna be getting our ideas on how to develop a grunge streetwear graphic and applying that to some anime characters. Uh, most of the references for this piece include mangas and other anime posters, etc, etc, because the way they lay out and format their designs is really cool. The one downside to using PNGs rather than drawing these anime characters one by one is that you have to warp and basically design around what stance the character is already in but if you have the ability to redraw which would take longer um, then you can fully customize what your design is going to look like this is going to be a lot easier than designing like a pop smoke vintage graphic because all these images you can basically find on the internet already cut out for you um, if you have the time and take up on the resources using the internet just searching up for instance monkey d luffy png you'll find a bunch of stances that he's in so you have to think of the idea and what the final design is going to look like even before you start looking for images because it really affects on how your final design is going to look like so basically now that we have all the images for our design i searched these up previously because i didn't want to record all that process of finding these images. We're just gonna be placing it into different areas and seeing what I like and seeing what I don't like. It's basically a very long process in terms of what the final project is gonna look like because once you've got your placements, that's how it is and you just basically develop and add effects from there until you get your final look of what you want your design to be like. I did have to do some editing, like removing people's watermarks and obviously cutting out images so we can place certain characters in front of other characters without losing certain details and certain parts of the character's body. Now that we got a basic understanding of what our design is gonna look like in terms of character placements, obviously we got the main characters in the middle, some of the most favorite characters also in the middle, like Nami, Monkey D, Luffy, and then some of the other characters towards the side that are still relevant. Um, mostly, most of the relevant characters at the very front and the irrelevant at the back, such as Sanji and Frankie, who all play a crucial role, but are not the favorites. Now we're just gonna get one more element. We're gonna be using this image and basically image tracing it. And it's gonna be used as the background or the thing that centers the design itself. I'm gonna be using this square like capture from the manga itself when the team is reunited. Basically like I'm doing the colored version of the reunited and this is the manga version which is gonna be at the back so it's like popping out in front if that makes sense at all. And basically it's just simple, just playing around with the image trace. So after we've got that image, we're just gonna place it into the rest of the design, trying to center it with everything else so it makes sense. Later on, I am gonna change the color of this itself because the yellow is clashing too much with all the gold and yellow and straw hats, um, hat obviously, and the gold on Frankie and Brooke. Lastly, we're just going to add in the one piece title or logo, whatever you wanna call it. And this is where we're gonna add the first effect. We're just basically gonna go up to um, effects, distort, display, uh, sorry, distort and displace. And then you're gonna have to have this map already pre-made. So making maps in Photoshop is pretty easy. All you have to do is make a new document, add in the texture or the image that you want. And then you can also, you, and then you can just apply that to any image and it'll basically warp and move it so it matches the dark spots of the image itself so we have this like cool ripped effect on the title the next effect we're going to be doing is basically you see the smoke on monkey d luffy when he's in stage four we're going to be wrapping that around the whole design to tie everything together and make it look like it's one drawn in piece even though these are all individual images that are pngs 
Um, and yeah, you always want to get an element that you can reproduce or that you can recreate. So it brings in the rest of the design um, and it makes it like seem like everything is meant to be there. Like you don't want anything to feel out of place when you're doing these designs. You want it all to feel in unison. Now I'm just going to go in with this paint brush and just draw in like these paint effects like so like the paint is rubbing out or like it's fading away a little bit all throughout the design like it's coming from the manga page I told you guys i would change the color made it blue because it ties in with the title makes it look a little bit better um and yeah just like i said we recreate these little elements that make the design tie in together so basically what i did um to the actual brush is i added a motion blur to it very easy um, and just tilted the angle to match where the brush was uh, going towards. And yeah, that's the effect itself. Now I'm just getting um, this King of the Pirates title. I uh, did the same effects with the title of One Piece with the distorting the element. And I'm just going to place it where I feel suits best to frame the design itself. Because the yellow clashes against the blue. And the main um, colors, obviously, of these designs is blue and yellow slash goldish color now i'm just gonna add my um textures so basically i have this photocopy texture added on top set it to a different blending mode so it makes it look a little bit washed and faded next i'm just gonna go into the filter gallery and add a poster edge just change up the effects a little bit because it makes everything look like it's drawn a little bit more and with manga and everything, it's all cartoon 2D drawings. So I just want to add that effect and boost it up a little bit more, which will internally sharpen all the lines in the artwork itself from blurry captures and stuff like that, which helps the overall quality of the image at the very end. I love grunge. So the next effect, we're just going to add in this texture and we're just going to set it to overlay and then change the opacity a little bit. Um, I don't want the image to look too clean. So this is basically what it, that's doing to this image. Lastly, we're just going to add a threshold, set it to how you like. And basically we're going to turn on the bottom layer, duplicate our image or our design, convert that to a smart object, and then set the opacity of everything else on top of the smart image. Once you put it into a folder, to overlay so that will clean up the image and add a little bit more dark spots to the overall design itself then we're just going to want to take out the effects of the photocopy and the texture put it on top of everything um, it, which we'll put into one folder so then we can add those effects and make them on everything so we're putting the photoshop texture and the normal texture on top of everything on top of all the darkens the darkened shadows that we've put in and all the thresholds that we've put in to make it look a little bit more washed than it is. Lastly, we're just gonna put the design itself on a mock-up just to close off everything. And basically that's what the design is. Nice, simple, easy to do graphic. Will take you at least an hour if you're thinking about it and wanting it to look nice. If you don't really care, it'll take you like 30 to 20 minutes. Um, obviously if you're confident in Photoshop and you know everything that you're doing, but yeah, tell me what you guys think, what you guys thought, um, and let me know which videos you guys want to see later on. I have some time now, six weeks off, so I have time to push out these videos and work on other client projects. So make sure you contact me and hit me up on all my socials at Design by Will. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas break. Take care and I'll see you when I'll see you. Peace.